So it occurred to me that we must be doing something that I had to learn about, because if I'm a leader, as any, as any of us are, we are charged with having a vision, holding our team accountable, and for doing the right thing. But for, for me, what that had meant for all these years was doing the intuitive thing. And I felt that if I could only name what this was that was working, obviously, I could be a much more effective leader because I could lead with intention, if I could find language and words to teach me. And it hit me like a lightning rod that the thing that Zagat is not asking anybody about and the thing that nobody taught me growing up is that hospitality is the answer and that hospitality is a completely different discipline than service. And so I spent four years when I wasn't running restaurants and bringing up kids and trying to be a good husband, really trying to look in the mirror and find out what was working so well and what was hospitality. I've heard the word my whole life, but no one had ever defined it. I'd heard the word service my whole life, but no one ever defined that. And so I did a little bit of historic research, not a lot, because I'm a pretty intuitive kind of thinker. And here's what, here's what really occurred to me. I think that this country has pretty much gotten the kinds of economies it has needed when it most needed them. And I remember growing up in the 1970s primarily and hearing about quality. Quality is job number one. We're going to win with quality. And then I started hearing the word service. We're going to win by having the best service. And in fact, I think as a country, we did a pretty good job of coming back. We were getting our rear ends kicked by countries all over the world who understood that performance, which I define as excellence plus service, okay, how good is the product and how well do you deliver on the promise, that companies in our country had finally figured out that if your product did not perform, you were going to be left in the dust. And so, if you wanted to be considered someone's favorite anything, and let's face it for just a moment, as much as I would love one day to see the modern or 11 Madison Park or Gramercy Tavern have New York's top food score, I'm okay if it's only in the top 10, if you tell me that it is your favorite restaurant. I don't believe there is a higher compliment any of us could pay any organization than to say it is my favorite. It's my favorite soup. It's my favorite dry cleaner. This is my favorite airline. That's my favorite hotel. That's my favorite teacher. That's my favorite library. When you say that of a brand or of any entity whatsoever, what you're basically saying is that product is working for me and therefore I'm going to reach back and I'm going to make it mine because I want to identify with that in the biggest way. So I spent a lot of time thinking about what we were doing to make people our favorites. Hospitality was the answer. 